Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be trying something a little different and I am probably going to get a lot of flack for it because I'm going to be using this product in a way that it's not really intended. I really want to know if it can actually run uh, on a 24 volt battery for hours on end without burning up. Um, so here it is right here. I just got it yesterday. Let's go ahead and open it up. And what I have is a GTI 600 watt grid tie micro inverter right there. Um, and what this is intended for is you plug in up to 600 watts of solar panels and it takes the energy from the solar panels and pretty much converts it right into AC electricity that you plug into an outlet in your house. And it basically backfeeds electricity from a solar panel to your house so that way it can lower your uh, electric bill. My main purpose for this is not to lower my electric bill. Uh, my main purpose is to uh, kind of have an, uh, an, an energy dump, I guess you could say. Um, I'm running into the issue where my batteries are always uh, getting topped off uh, even before noon. I really wanted to find something uh, where I'm not just running something uh, just to waste energy. I'd rather find something that uh, I, could, I could turn on remotely and have it actually feed back into my house so my house can use the electricity that my batteries have stored up. Uh, again, I know this isn't the intent, th this isn't the intention of this product. Um, I'm taking some safeguards to, to try to make it last as long as possible. Um, because all the other reviews that I've ever watched or heard or read, they all say you should not run this thing at 100% all the time. But I want to do that. Because I want to see how long this little cheap $90 microinverter will actually last in the best conditions. So, in the box, there is uh, this manual. Basically talks about how to connect it up. Um, I know you can find this manual online if you actually are thinking about purchasing the product. Uh, let's see, there's also a warranty card. Um, I don't think I'm going to be filling this out because I think I will be voiding the warranty in the way that I'm going to be using it. Uh, let's see, there's also a user notice. It's just saying the input and output, output must be rated operation range uh, of the inverter. So it's kind of saying you need to have this within the voltage of your input and output. So I'm using it for output of 120 AC. And my input is going to be right around, uh, probably roughly around 26 volts. All right, and here is the inverter itself. It's actually packaged pretty well. It's got these big styrofoam things in it, so it's not going anywhere. I would say it, it probably weighs about uh, it probably weighs about two or three pounds. Um, all aluminum casing. There's the front right there. This there's a uh, uh, I think that's an outtake fan. It's a couple of spots for 30 amp fuses and this is where you'll be connecting your DC power right here. Uh, this is where usually you'll be connecting uh, solar panels directly to it. But in my instance I'm going to be connecting this straight to my battery. And then the other side the other side is an on and off switch. Uh, there is a run light and an air light. And this is the AC plug that you will be plugging into your wall outlet to uh, backfeed your house. What I did is I have some I have some 7 gauge cable right here. And I have a, uh, a circuit breaker. It's going to be a, uh, a 32 amp circuit breaker. So that should 
protect my system from anything that happens if this thing short circuits uh, that circuit breaker should catch that um, I will also be connecting it directly to my other inverter which is in line with a uh, 150 amp fuse so there's another line of protection between between this little $90 cheap Chinese inverter and uh, my big battery bank okay there is my system and here is my uh, my this is where it's going to be sitting right here so how I'm going to have this set up is it's going to be connected to my negatives and positives of my inverter right here and I'm going to have a line going on to this fan right here and what I might do is kind of build up a rig so the fan is going to be blowing right through the the vents of the of the microinverter so that way I could try to keep it as cool as possible and how this is going to be set up is it's going to be plugged in the fan and the microinverter are going to be plugged in right here and what that does is it runs over to this uh, oh, it's, it's called a my TS it's basically a remote timer uh, it's a Wi-Fi timer that I can use and that I can from anywhere I can turn on and off uh, the micro inverter and the fan at the same time and then all of that is connected to a kilowatt uh, monitor so that way I can see uh, I basically basically so I can make sure that the uh, that there is actually uh, electricity back feeding into my house once I once I start getting that set up I will show you what's going on okay well this thing is all wired up and ready to go uh, let me just kind of show you where it starts it is connected to uh, my inverter and then it goes down to a 32 amp circuit breaker and then it connects to these banana clips right here and this is a seven gauge wire this is the biggest wire that I could fit into these banana clips right here and I'm telling you it was a disaster if me if this thing runs for 10 minutes I'm gonna be amazed but now it's now the AC side is plugged into here and it goes down to this outlet right here and then this outlet again goes over to a remote remote timer switch that I can turn on and off with my phone and then it's connected to a kilowatt meter so that way I can see how much electricity is actually going back into our house with that being said let's go ahead and first turn on I guess the circuit breaker okay and then I'm gonna turn on the switch right here so this thing should turn on all right both of the lights turned on and it says error but I'm hoping that's because there's no electricity going through it this whole thing is sitting on this big box fan because I want to use this fan to cool this thing off as much as possible so let's go ahead and switch on this switch All right, it looks like it's actually turning on. And the light is still flickering green and it's slowing down. Oh, and now it's solid. Let's see what our kilowatt says. And our, our kilowatt says that there is 485 watts or 470 yep 475 watts going into the house well actually let's uh, let's measure and see how many amps are getting pushed into the system looks like 25 amps 25 amps are being pushed from our inverter or not the inverter from our 
our batteries into this inverter and then that's being transformed into AC which is being pushed into our house at 448 watts. Let's see the time is 643. My plan is to see if I can run this for an hour and I'll let you know if it starts getting hot so we'll see what happens. My Victron equipment shows that there is 717 watts being pulled from our system. Um, current shows uh, yeah, between 27 and 29 amps. So that's pretty much what the, uh, what the meter said. And this is exactly how I wanted to use this system is uh, I wanted to use it as an energy dump. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see right now, my battery is at 87%. Um, I would love to get it all the way down to 50%, but I don't know how long this would have to run in order to do that. Uh, you know, I'm going to run it for 10 minutes to see how hot it's getting, but I would love to run it for like an hour. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, it is now 6.56, so it's been about 13 minutes since I've started this. Let's go ahead and uh, check to see how much our battery has gone down. All right, uh, as you can see, the battery is still at 86%. Uh, so it's only gone down, what, not even 2%? I'm not sure. It's warm, but it's not hot by any means. I think this fan is really doing a good job of, of keeping that nice cool airflow going right through the unit. We're down to 414 watts. 415 watts going into the system. So we've put 0.14 kilowatts back into the house. In the videos that I've watched, it does say that the unit will drop down a little bit as it's warming up. And uh, the reason we're not getting a f in, like near 600 watts is because this fan is running also. This fan uses about uh, between 80 and 85 watts to run. So you have to automatically remove the 85 watts from this whole idea. So the most we could ever get out of this thing is, is 515 watts. So it looks like we've lost probably 100 watts um, just from conversion and it heating up. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let it run. I'm gonna let it run for an hour and we'll see uh, how it feels and, and what it's doing after that and see how much, uh, how much our battery has gone down. All right, well, it has been one hour since we started this thing up. And it's warm, but it's definitely not like boiling hot or like that. I mean, it's it just feels like a warm unit. It's not considerably hot at all. It's just, it's just warm. So it's sitting on the fan, I think did a good job. Uh, the circuit breaker, it's a 32 amp circuit breaker, so that's it's warm, but it's fine. The wiring, yeah, this seven gauge wire is cool to the touch, so it's no big deal. Uh, let's see what we got. Our kilowatt meter says that it's still feeding uh, 400 watts into the house, so everything is working great. Let's go ahead and see what the battery is down to. Our battery is at 78.5%. Um, we're still pushing uh, 665, 650 watts. It takes away about 10% of the battery for every hour that I, that I run it. All right, if you have any questions about uh, the setup that I have, please let me know in the comments. I'm just very curious on if this unit can actually run directly connected to batteries and actually run in a, in a in a controlled environment, try to keeping it as cool as possible. You know, if it'll actually run for uh, for days and hours, something like that. So, uh, what I'll do is I will. Um, I'm just going to keep running it. I mean, every time my battery gets up up to eighty or ninety percent, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on while I'm home uh, until I feel very comfortable that it will not, you know, blow up or something like that and I will keep you posted. So uh, yeah, again, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. 
If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. It really helps out. So thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.